Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a bit of a different one. We have a makeup tutorial and a clothing haul. Today's video is kind of in a collaboration with Pretty Little Things. So thank you so, so much to Pretty Little Things for sponsoring this video. Very exciting. <laughs> For this video, I just thought I would do like a chit chat, get ready with me for a date night or whatever it may be. So I just done my makeup like so, and all of the products that I did use on my face, you can get from Pretty Little Thing as well. There is a few products I think that I did mention and use, talk about whatever that you can't get in Pretty Little Thing, but I will make sure and list down in the description box whether you can get it on the website or not. And then later on in the video, as you will see, I have two outfits that I would personally wear on a date night. One that is casual, and then one that is more dressed up but I did have both outfits so you could dress each one up or down or whatever and it's kind of just a wee mixture of styles and stuff so I hope you all enjoyed this video and again thank you so much to Pretty Little Thing for collaborating me on this video I really really appreciate it and thank you so much for gifting me these products and yeah I hope you all enjoy this video. Just going to start off by priming the skin I'm going to use these unicorn primer drops from Bar AM and these are the Beauty Elixir drops. So these wee drops just hydrate and brighten the skin just before a makeup application and you can use these underneath your foundation obviously as a primer and as a base but you can also use this on days where you're not wearing any makeup just for a wee bit of skincare for that extra bit of hydration and brightness to the skin because I just kind of find that it just leaves like a very natural healthy glow. And then just after I let that dry and sink into the skin I'm going to go in with foundation and this is the EX1 Invisibare Liquid Foundation and this is in the shade F200. The reason I'm using this foundation today is because I'm freshly tanned and these foundations are absolutely fabulous if you are someone that does wear a lot of fake tan on the daily and on the regular but also if you naturally have golden undertones in your skin these are a great foundation because I think nearly every shade it has like a golden undertone so these are really really nice. That's why I like to use these foundations whenever I do have a bit of effect tan on because obviously my skin is more golden and I'm going to take this on a Sigma Kabuki flat brush just to buff this into the skin and then afterwards I'm just going to blend it in even more with my beauty blender. To conceal I'm just going to use the Azure Wine from Maybelline and this is in the shade Mine just says neutralizer. Is that the shade, do you think? So then with these next products, I actually don't, you can actually get these on Pretty Little Thing, but I'm just gonna set my face with them anyway. So this is the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just gonna set my T-zone mainly. So my under eyes, I just run my mouth area because that's where I will crease the most throughout the day. And then I'll just also do whatever excess is on my brush, just on my forehead because I just don't like to apply too much product, especially powder, to my forehead. My usual, this is the Revolution Pro Translucent Powder also. just like to take the tiniest bit of this because it is very brightening. And I just like to pop that just something on dry. Next up, I'm just going to highlight. I'm going to use the Doll Beauty Highlighter in this shade Like a Diamond. So this, this one here, I think this is the lighter shade of the two that I have. So this can also be found on Pretty Little Thing also, as well as their bronzers and their eyelashes as well. This wee bit too harsh. Said me never. And then I'm just going to go back with some more. Logic. So I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush. It's just this one here. It's an absolute beautiful blush. It's just like a really nice peachy shade. <laughs> Fun enough. So I'm just going to apply this just on the elbows of my cheeks and then just working that up into my highlight. I actually have the Pretty Little Thing bronzer. This is from their own brand. Again, I will check if you can still get these on their website and I will have the information down below. So this is their Malibu Tan bronzer. I actually really liked it and especially for the price point. It was really, really good, especially if you're somebody that's just starting up with makeup or you're a beginner, first timer, whatever, but it just is quite a nice bronzer. I 
So that's my eyebrows done and I didn't actually have any products that I have in my collection that you can get on Pretty Not A Thing. So I'm not just going to start on the eyes. So I'm just going to use this wee Morphe palette. This is the 12NB palette. And you can also get a load of the Morphe eyeshadow palettes on Pretty Little Thing also. And then I'm just going to be using the Peaches and Cream pigment in the shade Gatsby. This is honestly such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, it's just like a wee loose eyeshadow. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you can also get the Peaches and Cream pigments on Pretty Little Thing also. And I'm going to take just this wee shade here. I'm just going to pop that just in my crease just to warm it up a wee bit and just act as my transition earring. Damn it. I'm just going to blend that quite high into the upper crease and brow bone because I think I'm going to be doing a spotlight eye today. So once I have the intensity laid down in the crease, I'm not going to take any more product on the brush, but I'm just going to buff that shadow just up into my upper crease and my brow bone. I'm going to take that stubbier end, I'm going to go into that exact same shade, and I'm also just going to run that just along my lower lash line. Just bringing it right into the inner corner and the outer corner, just join that to the lid shade. I'm going to go into this Morphe palette again. I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'm just going to pop this just in the inner and outer corner. So I'm just going to slightly build that shade up as you can see. I'm not wanting to go too crazy first off. I just want it to be quite soft. Then I'm also just going to, using that same brush, I'm just going to start by blending those two shades out. Just in that crease shape. But I'm still wanting to leave the centre with not much on it, if that makes sense. Just to apply the pigment, I'm just going to use this Rude Cosmetics Glitter Primer. I'm just going to rub this in with a fluffy flat brush, because I'm not wanting it to be too precise. I'm not that bothered. Just all over the centre. I'm just going to do both sides while I'm at it, may as well. I'm not wanting to apply too much as well because keep in mind we want it to be tacky. So what I usually do is I actually keep on patting at it until I can feel it getting tacky. I actually just take the excess on the lid because honestly it's it always seems to be enough. And I'm just going to apply this directly on the lid. I need to focus the pigment more at the lash line because that's where I want it to be more intense. And then I just slowly work my way up. You can do this with your finger as well, by the way, if you're not wanting it to be too precise or anything. But because I have nails, it kind of makes that just that wee bit harder. I'm not going to apply any more of the pigment. I'm just going to keep on blending at it. Back into the darkest shade. And taking that same brush. And just like we did before, I'm just going to start by packing that darkest shade just on the inner and lighter corner. I'm going to blend the dark shade and the pigment together. Just so that it's a wee bit more seamless. So I did just go off camera there and do my lashes, liner and lashes. So I just used the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I used the Mega Protein Wet n Wild Mascara. And then for lashes I used Cleo Beauty in the style Sugar Daddy, I think. But it'll all be listed down below anyway in the description box. Next up for lips, I'm going to be using Spice Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm just going to outline my lips. For my lips, I'm going to use the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Brunch. I'm just going to apply that just in the centre. And then this is just the Vivid Hot Lager from Maybelline in the shade Tease. I'm also just going to apply a wee bit of this. Just in the centre and then blend it out as well. Okay guys, so this is the makeup completely done. And I just went off camera there and done my hair as well. So I'm now just going to show you some of the items that Pretty Little Thing kindly gifted to me. I'm just going to show them and hold them up here on the screen. But I'm also going to do a try on haul as well. The first thing I got, it's not that exciting. But I did want to get this because of the two outfits that I have selected. Well, one of the outfits mainly. As you can see, it is a belt. And I've noticed that these belts are very, very in at the minute. I'm not too sure if you can see 
see by the lighting, but it's just a white tape ribbed belt. It does come in one size, one size does fit all because obviously you can tighten it or loosen it to whatever way you want. And as you can see, the buckles are gold and then it just has like a white faux leather detail on here. This next item, I actually have put it on a hanger so you'd be able to actually see it properly. But you'd be able to see it properly anyway because I'll be trying it on. So this is the white hook and eye puff sleeve crop top. I got this in a size 10. So as you can see, it just has the wee hooks here at the front that you just do up. So as you can see, the sleeves are about three quarter length and the shoulders and the sleeves are puffed. And then we have obviously the eye hook front. And I just love the way it's shaped around the chest area, like around the boob area, the way it has like the wee cups and everything. So I would say if you are slightly bigger when the chest area I would advise to get a bigger size up because as you can see I'm not too sure if you can see but the cup sizes aren't necessarily that big. This is definitely a top that I would team up with some faux leather jeans or definitely high-waisted trousers because it is cropped I don't necessarily like to show my stomach off too much so I would definitely pair this top up with something that is high-waisted or even like a high-waisted skirt or anything it would look really really cute. Again, this is something that you won't be able to see properly until I actually show it on. But this is the black slogan contrast oversized sweat baseball t-shirt dress. <laughs> and because it is oversized and it is a t-shirt dress, I did get this in a size 8. I didn't want it to be too big or too long because I am, I'm just under 5 foot. So I'm not the tallest and I didn't want it to be far too long and far too wide on me. So that's why I did go for a size 8. That's just what it looks like there. It's just like a really thick black cotton material. And then it just has the white pretty little thing slogan just at the front. And then it just has like the buttons to fasten it up from the top to the bottom and then what I like about it as well is the fact that it just has quite a deep v-neck. It'd be really nice if it was paired up with a mesh top as well in case you did feel a wee bit too revealed or even like a wee bralette or something. I actually have like a really nice red bra but it has like a wee bit of like a detail around here and I also think that that would be a really really nice like put underneath this if it was actually for a night out or anything and you were wanting to spice it up. Obviously I paired this with a pair of heels and um, you can also pair this with obviously a pair of Converse, a pair of sneakers trainers whatever or a pair of black heels something that is really really simple and basic and comfortable but you can also do so much with it you can dress it up or you can dress it down or like you could even pair this also with a pair of bike shorts you know the wee motorcycle shorts that I'm actually loving at the minute so then I saved my favorite for last so I also had to get a pair of shoes to obviously finish off my outfit <laughs> these are the white point toe sock boots and I got these in a size 4 duh Ooh. So these are the sock boots here and I love heels or boots that are pointed. So as you can see they do have the pointed toe and the stiletto heel. I absolutely love these. They are faux leather and they have a zip fastening. One thing I do love about these wee socky boots. Socky boots? Why do I keep on saying socky boots? I'm trying to make it sound cute. <laughs> uh, I could never be a bad bitch. <laughs> do you like my socky boots? <laughs> Now, one thing I do like about sock boots is if they're actually rolled down or like rolled into trousers and stuff and these are over them. I don't know, that's just me, my style, my personal opinion. These are really, really comfortable as well. So yeah, nice in the winter, nice in the summer, all year round. Absolutely love them. Love them. Okay guys, so that is everything from me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. All the makeup products that I did use will be listed down below in the description box and obviously down below I will list and link all of the clothing items I did feature in this video as well. Again, thank you so, so much for your pretty little thing for partnering with me on this video. And also thank you so, so much to you guys for watching this video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They're all listed down below in the description box also. And I hope to see you all in my next video.